So now it's time to start getting our tower put to bed for the summer as everybody goes on vacation. The tower is going to go on vacation as well. So in preparation, I got a bunch of materials out here. I have my um, guide, my tower guide. It's been well used this year as we've been uh, working with the tower. So I have my instructions that came with the, uh, the kit. Um, as well as some other supplemental materials um, that the um, program coordinator um, has provided for us. And something that I really want to mention too is that we are really fortunate to be able to be a member of this program. Uh, with Healthy Kids Community uh, Challenge Ottawa, this type of initiative would not be possible. So take all the food that you have that is harvestable, give it to you know, your office admin, give it to uh, you know, any of the special teachers in your school that you'd like to um, offer. Um, you can also, um, which is a neat opportunity for the program too, you can maybe use it as a fundraiser um, for your, you know, whatever program it is for myself in this classroom to buy you know, food for the students or any materials. Um, but this can be actually a nice little income generator for your classroom as well. So in preparation for uh, taking the tower apart, uh, we want to make sure that we're always managing our waste really well. So obviously anything that is compostable, we want to be prepared for. So your school may have um, a green bin program at your school. Some schools may not. So I actually, we're in the process of developing ours at Woodruff High School. So for right now, I take my green stuff home. So I have my yard bag here. leave at school you take it home that day that there and now if you have some plants that you want to transplant you know this is something you could do at the end of the school year especially if you have elementary students who are you know still in school right now um, you know they could bring a little pot and you know might have some soil and maybe they want to take some cilantro and they want to take that home and it's a neat thing for parents and kids to do too um, so they could take their little cilantro plant home and see if maybe they can um, you know do something with it over the summer um, all of this is compostable as well um, what we did for our little id tags and i wanted to make sure everything was compostable we used toothpicks and paper and all this is going to go into my green bin when you pull some of these out, and I recommend when you're pulling these out, pull it out by the full pot, and you get this awesome mat of roots. And what you can do, which is like the students are like, ew, gross. And I'm like, no, this is like life. This is like the life force for these plants. And so you can talk about, you know, um, how they're just bathed in the water and how the plant needs their, you know, the roots to be saturated to get the water and they they start connecting ideas together way better than if they're just looking at it in a slideshow. Um, and so what you can do is just cut these little bits of the pot. Yes, you're wasting it. But it preserves the, the root structure here and then you could plant it in another pot to go outside um, or in a sunny window, whatever you desire. And especially you should also know more about the plant itself, right? So, you know, looking at the type of soil that it needs, the type of sunlight it needs, you know, water, you know, nutrients um, as well, which is really important. Speaking of nutrients, it's something that's important for me to talk about in terms of health and safety for our tower garden. A couple things. Um, when, I'm when I'm going to start um, dealing with anything with water with the tower, I always want to make sure that I completely unplug the tower as well so there's um, a disconnection of any of the electrical uh, plugs and, and the pump, the lights, everything else. Another thing that's really, really important um, is to make sure that you're using gloves when you're uh, working with the tower, um, when, especially when you're adding the nutrients. So the tower is self-sustaining because the plants are being fed by the nutrients that we add to them. So at the end of the year, you probably will still have a box of chemicals or our nutrients, um, and they get diluted in the big water basin here. But we want to make sure that these are out of reach of any visitors into our classrooms, you know, if there's any you know, camps being held in our classrooms. And during the school year, these always need to be locked up. So you might have a chemical storage uh, prep room in your school. I'm really fortunate I have a, a closet uh, where I keep a lot of, variety of um, things I want to keep out of the reach for students uh, locked up as well. So if you're doing this with students um, and you have a couple of eager helpers, one thing that's really recommended is to make sure that you take the lights off beforehand. These are delicate, um, you know, they're obviously vital for our tower garden, but you know, little hands can make 
you know, light work, but they can also make for things to get easily bumped around. So we want to make sure that we uh, disconnect our tower. And I'm going to call upon uh, my friend Simon to come help me uh, with uh, taking the lights off as well. It's always good to have a partner. Uh, Simon's an expert in the tower gardens and was the one that came and helped me set up in the fall and really my mentor for the tower garden for the first part of the year. So Simon, so disconnecting here and then restoring these. Just carefully lift them out. Mm -hmm. There you go. Place to okay. Over yep, definitely. So we'll lay them flat um, on one of our tables in here. Uh, maybe you want to remove these clips so they don't Perfect. get lost. And, uh, keep those separate. Great, thank you. So when you have your uh, net pot and you can take out the plant, you're going to be left with this little plastic pot here. And this is reusable unless they're severely damaged. Um, but you get some calcification while it's been in the tower and some of the salts. So a good way to get rid of this, just have some warm water. I'm very fortunate in my cooking classroom. I have five kitchens to pick from. A little bit of soap and then the vinegar helps out as well. And so you can just have those soaking while you're emptying those as well. And that's going to make your job a lot easier as well. Just to be able to clean up everything and to make things efficient. This is something that your students can easily help you out with as well. It's always good to teach them how to clean up after having a fun experiment. Now we're at the part where we have removed the plants. We've removed most of the pots, but actually we don't have to remove all of them because as we take the tower part piece by piece or kind of row by row, we can take these out and, and clean them. For today, what I'm going to show you is you can take this lid off. And once again, as you keep removing things, just put them into your warm soapy water over here and let it soak. So as you know, because you've been using your tower all year, you have the fountain part at the very top. And so usually what you could do is use a clear plastic siphon. You're going to attach it to the top of the fountain here, okay? And then it's going to go into a pail or you could put it into your sink, okay? Ideally the sink could be um, really useful for you as well. Um, I do recommend that you have some towels around just in case if you have any water spillage. You want to make sure that, you know, the floor, uh, even though a little messy right now, but it's not wet. So, if you don't happen to have a siphon, even though most kits come with them, we also want to show you another alternative way in just a little bit, where we can actually use just some jugs to be able to get uh, most of the water out um, and a couple other options on being able to finally dry the basin as well. Inside the top of your tower, there are two wing nuts. So I've removed one before, so if you're not familiar what a wing nut looks like, it looks like one of those little maple keys with wings. And there's two of them on there. And so you want to unscrew those. All right, so now that you've removed those two wing nuts, you can, and just gently, because it might be a little bit firm, but uh, take off the top part. Okay, and you might be surprised on, on what you find. Obviously, you know, water is going to have a little bit of uh, sort of gunk in there. And this is why it's really important to wash it up for the summer. And then when you come back in the fall, you can put it back together. It's all going to be uh, brand new for you to start or for another school to start. Um, also, make sure you check the top part in here, there's um, a washer. And as you're noticing, I'm getting water onto the floor already, so I'm going to make sure I clean that up. Add a little bit more water in here. And actually, for this job, I'm just going to lay this on the floor. I'm lucky, since I'm in a foods room, I have some of these things and I have my own washing machine. Okay, and so, Bit by bit, you're going to take these apart. Um, and this is where it's actually really easy to take the pots out now. So if you remove the plants, it's really easy to take these pots out. Um, get rid of, you might still have some more roots in here as well. 
So have your compost bag available as well. Now this is going to go into the municipal compost. So it has a bit of a different facility uh, than if you were doing your home compost or if you have a sort of a backyard compost. So the rock wool, okay to put in for our municipal one, but if it's your home compost, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. It's not going to break down as well. So you're going to continue this. Now that we have run, we've removed two layers of the tower, we have these extension rods. So you just need to unscrew them and then you'll be able to get the next set of layers and make sure all the pieces that you are removing from your tower, you're putting in safekeeping because you want to come back in the fall and to be able to put your tower together or if you're taking your passing your tower on to another school so they have the opportunity to um, experience this um, our vertical tower garden uh, they, they have all the pieces necessary to put their tower together so we take our wing neck and we want to remove the top one here I couldn't grab it with the gloves so for right now I can use have one glove off. Make sure you don't lose these bits. So keep them all in one space. But you, after you're going to clean your tower, you're going to put it all back together again. So those parts should be walking away in those hour or two while you are cleaning your tower. So from this part here, what I need to do is I need to twist this. There's a wing nut underneath here, which you can't twist. So I'm going to twist this part here. Okay, so we've removed our pieces. I have my wing nut down here. If you have any troubles with it, you might need a vice grip to hold the bottom, you know, call in a, a friend to be able to help you. Um, another thing too is that, you know, we removed the middle part first uh, before the trowels on the outside, but you could um, also move, remove the trellis first, especially if you're doing this with, the, you know, several people, your students, you're worried about them banging into this because it's, uh, you know, a little delicate, so you can always remove this part first. So it depends whatever your preference is. And so we're going to lift it up and let's put it over here. So we'll make sure we put our lid to our tower garden. That's our water access in here in our tower garden. We're going to very carefully lift it a bit. It a bit. And my partner here is going to remove the blue hose from the fountain bottom that's from the pump. So you don't want to walk away with this still attached. So it's a great teamwork. What we want to do is just get, I'm going to get in any remaining roots um, and I'm going to start using just my juice jug and emptying into the sink. I'm going to just clear this area here. The neat thing is this is on wheels so I can be able to um, wheel this around wherever I need to do so. So I'm going to wheel this over. So we're choosing not to use the option uh, for the siphon right now. and. I'm going to put my towel here just to be mindful of any drips. And down the side. So we've finished emptying most of the water out of the basin of our tower. We're actually going to be lifting this up and pouring the, the last little bit of water out into um, the sink here. But what you want to do is remove the pump. So the pump is held on by suction at the bottom. So we have it here. And it's going to take a little, you need to clean this out too, carefully. And make sure, you know, obviously you have unplugged everything. We did that a ways back, but you want to make sure you're doing all of that. And if you're working with any, you know, other electrical stuff around, you have water here, obviously you're going to make sure that's far, far, far away or anything is unplugged. So, drain this here, and then I'm going to just put it onto my counter, and I'm going to tend to cleaning that in just a little bit as well. So I'm going to call on uh, maybe uh, Simon and Tom. If you guys could come and help me, please. We're going to lift this up and pour it into um, our sink here. And it's actually not that heavy. It's plastic. And very carefully. So a little bit of water, a little bit of soap. Maybe if you have um, like an organic um, I always recommend the organic ones or a low uh, chemical or low fume 
the cleanser just to give it a final wipe down. So now that we've dismantled our tower garden, we want to make sure everything gets cleaned up. So that's what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. Reassemble everything. I'm going to be putting it into uh, a locked space so it's nice and safe and protected uh, to be able to use for next year. Uh, if you are having the tower garden transported to another school, make sure that you ask your um, tower garden consultant to be able, or program director, to be able to help you out with that. So having a transformative um, sort of plant experience in our classroom would not be possible if it wasn't for the Ottawa Network for Education in collaboration with the Healthy Kids Community Challenge Ottawa.